Building up on the now even stronger foundation with Ventus 8, we bring you our new Ventus 8.1 release, including many quality of life improvements as well as an awesome set of new features. Let's start with the Custom Effect Shader, available as a new effect on 2D and 3D layers. The Custom Effect Shader allows you to write your own post-processing effects for your layers, using the HLSL shader language. This includes access to the layer's camera and depth buffer. Introducing Variance Shadow Mapping. In order to get soft shadows, until now you had to make the filter kernels very large and consequently very expensive. Variance Shadow Mapping records that blur in the shadow map itself, so that only a single pixel of the shadow map needs to be tested for each pixel on screen. This kind of blur can be implemented highly efficiently, allowing for much softer shadows than before. The recently added support for lookup tables has been expanded to allow using them on individual outputs. These output LUTs can be stored either as part of the project or just as files on your playout machine. We also updated our E2E Engine Live link to support Unreal 5.5, now with a shared depth buffer. Make sure to check the user manual for changes. We added a new form of previous screen, the spherical screen. With this new screen you can build your scenes for spherical displays. This also includes many different projection modes as well as a new spherical access node for easier placement of objects. With the support of end-to-end -end color management in Ventus 8, we had to add some diagnostics to Ventus Designer. Introducing video scopes for the renderer preview that allow you to inspect color values and video levels. It is now also possible to stream video from Ventus to any local device equipped with a web browser with a newly added Stream Out viewer. Just configure a stream output inside the device configuration. Then simply scan a QR code or pass down the link. Feel free to open as many streams as your network can handle. Lastly, we added a bunch of smaller features and quality of life improvements. The data portal receiver node can now navigate to the sender. Bezel color and opacity can be changed inside Ventus Designer. You can now manage your render setups and launch the editor directly from Ventus Designer Stage Editor window. You can finally scroll inside the Fast Toolbox. And many more. Check out the link in the description for a full list of changes.